What is DPMO? Lights up. A question looms on the screen, what is DPMO? The answer is simple, it stands for defects per million opportunities. But what does this mean, and why should you care? Let's dive into the world of DPMO and discover its significance in business and quality management. Picture a bustling factory. Conveyor belts are whirring, machines are humming, and products are being created. Quality is crucial, and the goal is to minimize defects. But how can this be measured effectively? Enter DPMO, a key performance indicator in Six Sigma methodology. It quantifies the number of defects in a process for every million opportunities, giving businesses a clear and standardized way to measure and improve their performance. Now, imagine a scenario. A company produces 10,000 widgets, each with five opportunities for defects. In total, there are 50,000 opportunities for defects. After inspection, they find 100 defects. To calculate the DPMO, they divide the number of defects, 100, by the total opportunities for defects, 50,000. This gives them a ratio of 0.002. To convert this to DPMO, they multiply by 1 million, resulting in a DPMO of 2,000. This means out of every million opportunities, there are 2,000 defects. So, why does DPMO matter? Well, it allows organizations to identify areas that need improvement. A higher DPMO indicates a lower quality process, while a lower DPMO means higher quality. By monitoring DPMO, businesses can pinpoint issues, implement improvements, and ultimately enhance customer satisfaction. The next time you encounter the term DPMO, think of it as a powerful tool for business success. By understanding and utilizing this metric, organizations can optimize their processes, reduce defects, and create better products and services for their customers. Remember, in the world of quality management, DPMO is the key to unlocking continuous improvement and achieving excellence.